I'm redoubling my efforts to do some daily consistent things online, specifically on LinkedIn. And I wanna show you the tool that I'm using to keep track of this. This can transfer to all sorts of use cases. You can use this for exactly what I'm doing, but any type, type of task tracking that you need to do, it's hard to say, uh, this is a great way to do it. I've got a Google Sheet up in here. You can do this in Microsoft Excel. I like Sheets just because it's a little bit easier to access and collaborate on whatever I use it more than I do Excel. So what I wanna do is two things every day consistently on LinkedIn. I want to comment and I want to connect. So the goal for me is 15 of each of these things uh, on new connections. So on new people, not people I already know. So I want to, let's see, comment on 15 new people's posts and connect with 15 new people in my target audience. And I'm not gonna get in that to that today, that's just for my own edification. But uh, these are the two things I wanna do daily and the way that I'm going to break it down here is I'm just gonna have days uh, from now until next year, I guess, in this column. And then over here, just a bunch of check boxes saying that I did the thing. Uh, first up, we got today. So um, I'm just gonna use that formula today, copy and paste the value, that's today. I'm gonna do two things per day though. So I'm gonna comment and I'm gonna connect. So I actually need this alt H MM will merge those cells together and I need that to be the same all the way down. Okay, cool. So if I just copy all that down, control D, it will merge everything the way I want it. Finally, I want to go this plus one. So it's the next day. Oh, it's not gonna let me control D down or control shift uh, down arrow. Uh, did that do what we need it to? Yeah, okay, so we're good for like tons and tons of days. Uh, over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go just equals that, and then this is going to be equals that. And so I can control D that all the way down. Uh, already I see that I don't like Arial, so I'm gonna go over to outfit font, and that should be good. Let's just merge and center these, cause yes, we still have to merge and center. We can't center across a range like you can in Excel. Haters gonna hate. I do hate that too though. Okay, at this point, all we need now really is to reduce the width of these columns, insert more, no, I think we've got 15. And then from here all the way down, just add our checkboxes. So we're gonna go up to data, data validation. We're going to add a rule instead of a drop down. We're gonna scroll down here to checkbox. Can you see that? Okay, my face sometimes blocks stuff down here in the uh, bottom right corner of the screen. We're going to use checkboxes, uh, show a warning. Uh, we'll reject the input. doesn't really matter. These are just, just for our purposes here. So now I can check off what I do every day. All right, this is like your most rudimentary version of creating a task list for yourself and actually uh, sequence uh, one row and 15 columns, one, one. So now there's our one through 15. So we can just kind of leave these as bonuses. How about that? Bonus, control R to fill that across and we'll make that a lot smaller. What's the code? Alt H-A-M, I think. Yeah, that centers it. Control Shift E makes it center there. So we got it horizontally and vertically centered a little bit bigger. Okay, so those are just bonuses. Here's all the regular guys. We can actually, I don't know, change the font color. Now we're getting into like uh, details that we don't need to worry about. All right, this is the uh, gist of it. I'm gonna center this stuff up. Whoopsie, I'm not gonna delete it, please. And center those and we're good to go. All right, so that's basically how you do it. Teachers can do this for uh, tasks in the classroom. Professionals can do this for daily tasks. I mean, this is really something that is uh, needs to be in your toolkit, and that's it. Check this video out next if you'd like to learn some more productivity tips using Google Sheets, and subscribe to the channel, like the video. Uh, you'll be the first to hear about and see all of my latest tips and tricks. Thanks a bunch. I've also got a free newsletter in the description below. 
uh, sign up for that totally free send it out uh every other week has been my uh, more often than not average i'm going to try to get that up to an, a regular weekly cadence again uh, which is where i'd like it to be anyway hope you have a good one talk to you later